Hello friends, welcome back. I am Serious Putty, and today we're trying something a bit new. If you followed my channel before, you know I have strictly been a Twitch streamer, throwing my VODs up here on the channel, but you'll have noticed that I've dropping, I'm dropping? I've dropped off the face of a cliff, and I've stopped streaming. Uh, it just it, it hasn't worked out, time, um, enjoyment, whatever have you. But here we are, I'm gonna try a YouTube video. This is my third attempt at this. So you can see it's going very well. But without further ado, we're gonna play Demon Souls, the 2020 remake, and let's jump into it. So we're gonna play a new game. Stay offline because I don't wanna deal with the invaders. We're gonna play as a lady. We always call our lady Gwen because that is girl's favorite name and we are going to be a magician yes I am doing the baby build all right it's the easiest way to play demon souls magic is super overpowered I'm looking to just have fun I've got nothing to prove I've played the original so much that I used to know it inside and out I'm no expert by any means don't don't come here expecting, oh, this is going to be the greatest gameplay I've ever seen. No, no, I'm baby. I haven't played this game in probably five years plus. Don't expect much, all right? But Magician, we're going to go with ah, Fire Bombs. I want the ring because I don't want to farm anything. And we got to get the cool walk and do the presets real quick. We gotta make her super white. Just the whitest you can make. There we go. Age 20, wait 40. Yeah, that's fine. Don't care about anything else except for the hair. We need to find the pigtails. There they are. And we need to make her white. White? She's already white. Make her a redhead. Oh, hell yeah. Right there. And that is indeed it so hey check this out cutscene king alant the 12th by channeling the power of souls brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of boletaria that is until the colorless deep fog swept across the land boletaria was cut off from the outside world and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valifax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. That the old King Alant had roused the old one, the great beast below the Nexus, from its eternal slumber. And that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls lose also their minds. The mad attack the sane and chaos reigns. Valifax also spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors lured by the possibilities braved the fissure to breach the accursed land. But none have returned. The awe of the Twin Fangs. Yet the silent chief. Saint Urbain. Skurva the Wanderer. The sick Saint Astria with her night gall vineyard. And Sage Freak the Visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria. 
Aria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Oh, has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? All right. Here we are. This is the choice that you can make at the beginning of the game. If you select yes, you go through, you go through and do the tutorial. Since I played this game a bunch, I'm not going to do that. And we're going to see another cutscene. Hold on. Right about. Soul of the lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. Soul of the lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. This is the Nexus. It holds together the northern land of Boletaria. Thou canst not quit the Nexus, but the five archstones will guide thee to the outer lands. All right, here we are. So if we played the tutorial, we would have died eventually. Uh, there is a boss fight in the tutorial, which typically die to. But if you can beat it, which I, I've done before once a long time ago, I couldn't do it now. Uh, I didn't want to waste time. So this is where you end up, the Nexus. Uh, unlike the other Souls games, is this is your hub world. It's not, the worlds aren't connected to each other. You have... Well, you see six of these arch stones. And that one right there is broken. So you have five arch stones, and they lead to the five different worlds. Uh, something else you'll notice is my health bar up top there, wherever my camera is down, right? Who knows? That is uh, the the pain and main feature of this game when you are in your dead zombie form, ghost form, whatever you want to call it, you have half your full health. Uh, later we'll get a ring, where we'll get at least three quarters of our full health. Uh, but we won't be playing this game in human form, like, at all. It's, there's, we'll, we'll explain it, world tendency, it matters, it's a thing, but this is your home world, you got a uh, sad dude, like you had in Firelink Shrine, if you were if you've played Dark Souls, here's our weaponsmith and stockpile Thomas. He's a bro. Uh, he holds on to all of our stuff because not only do we have you see here equipment burden, but we also have item burden. So anything you don't want, you have to leave here with stockpile Thomas. It's kind of like the uh, open box or bottomless box, whatever that was called from Dark Souls. Uh, it, it's it's a pain. And as we go through, we'll get some more characters. Like, here's a slightly saintly person. More characters will fill out this nexus. But that is all later. So let's jump into our first world. We're going to the Gates of Boletaria. I love this level. It's a great opening level. It kind of teaches you, minus the tutorial, which actually teaches you, like, R1s to stab, R2s to heavy stab, stuff like that. Uh, this is just a fantastic level. Uh, mini cutscene. Sorry, I hit the mic. It's a dragon! In the original version, all those guys the dragon has in its mouth um, didn't come across as people in its mouth. I thought it was tentacles or beard in the original version. It, it was wild. But here we are. We're at the gates of Boletaria and we're just gonna go through. I I don't know. I haven't really thought this through how I'm going to play this game other than magic because I'm wee baby and play in baby mode. But we, uh, I'll probably collect 
everything or mostly everything um that that you can get in one playthrough like there's there's special boss weapons and miracles and spells and stuff that you can't get until you're on new game plus or i think there's one new game plus plus uh but anything like this kind of stuff i'm gonna pick it all up so we'll, we'll see most things as for the world events, the world tendency that I was talking about earlier, we'll explain that much later when it's important. But I, I don't know if I'm going to do all those, so if you want to see like a complete comprehensive, this is all the stuff you can do in this game, um, you might get it, you might not. Who's to say? Who's to say? And yes, I, I'm fully aware I'm playing mage and I'm not exactly using my magic. I don't have a lot of magic right now. I have the blue bar, which is my MP. And it's it's finite. And no, I'm not going to parry these people because I figured out the last time I tried doing this. I either can't parry when I'm talking or I, I, I can't parry because I'm running the game through a capture card. Uh, and the timing's just ever so slightly off. Like, that that wasn't ever so slightly off. That was just me being uh, terrible at this game. Look, I already told you. You're not going to get some high-level uh, gameplay here. You're going to get a guy who hasn't played this game in five-plus years rusty as hell who may remember where most stuff is but um <laughs> it was never too good at souls games to begin with Ooh. ow ow wow wow that was that was odd look i i'm not going to complain like, oh, that shouldn't have hit me. This this game is fair in how it works, the mechanics. Like, if, if something hit you, it's because it hit you. Like, there's no... Very rarely is there, like, a weird oh, that shouldn't have hit me. The hitboxes are really good. And it's... If you get hit, it's because you, you, you're messed up, and I'm gonna mess up a lot. Where this game is a lot of bullshit is as you can see by this guy who is hiding behind that corner they like to put enemies and traps around corners so you'll be walking through like this archway and there'll be a guy that you won't notice and he'll just he'll mess your day up man it'll just be sad so this game is very very mean in its its enemy and trap placements but for the most part like it works it's fair Ow, you hooker I just want to oh look at that dodge ow ow not good not good I can't tell you the last time I actually died on the first level of this game and I don't plan on doing it now and it's gonna be it's gonna be ugly it's gonna be rough but I don't I do not plan on dying on the first level unless I try to do something stupid which like is it with dragons is potentially something stupid take care useless <laughs> weapon I mean, if you're good. Alright. Alright, alright, this is... See, see that, that just... I, I'm just... Heading off the, the wall. I'm a tree. I mean, it makes sense. I don't like it. It makes sense. Yep. This is, like I said, it's where the games mean. Like, that guy is above the stairs, you got a guy in front of you, he's just gonna throw fireballs at you. Very mean. Very mean game. Whoop. Get that backstab. Hell yeah, bro. Alright, well, that's the first one. But you know what? Get the chest of it. And there's gonna be another guy. 
Let's see. Another guy there. Well. Okay. I'm gonna try to bait this guy out. Because the guy up there will throw a fire bomb at me. I don't want it. Guy behind me is Ow, that was my fault. That was my fault being a scrub. I right there. A big old meanie. I am gonna kill this one. It's magic. Shop. See? I'm telling you, magic is ridiculously overpowered and just very, very brutal. Gotta I gotta get used to uh <laughs> my range on my weapon. Oh boy. Oh boy. We're coming out strong today. Oh, went too far for that backstab. Oh no, an item. It's gone forever. Fell through the geometry. $70 game, by the way. Uh, Alright, yeah, that's good. I killed with the fire. Here's another evil trap. Everybody gets caught out by this the first time. Come on. Come on. Drop the boulder. But it's nice it opens up this little thing and you can get the Bastard Sword. Which we cannot use because we don't have the strength to use it. Such is life, right? Two here and we're Oh you really? Really? I'm gonna do that? Really gonna do that? Ooh. Come on, bro. Alright, the last time I tried this. Ow, I forgot he I don't want to deal with the spear guy. I don't like him. He's mean. Spear. And it hurts. Health. Good. I don't trust myself. Now, back in the day, you could come over here. Uh, you can still do it. See that man down there? See him with his red, red eyes? He is super strong enemy. He's, he's way overpowered for this area. And he's guarding a secret optional boss which most people tend to forget about by the time they get to a level where they should be fighting the boss. Now this guy on the original version I used to fight uh, because he had I used to cheese him. He had a great leash. He could only come so far usually to this archway but sometimes to that archway and then he would go back so I just continue to Bait him out, go back, backstab him, bait him out, go back, backstab him. He doesn't have a leash in this game. And somebody far more skilled than myself could easily fight and murder this guy. I am not. I'm just going to die. So I'm just going to save myself and yourself the time. If you want to go for it, go for it. But uh, just, just wait until later. Wait until later until you're leveled up and strong enough to, to actually face him and not die in a hit. Now this guy is kind of like that uh, red-eyed guy, but he's got blue eyes, and he's a lot easier. Are you? Are you fucking me? Ow, I thought I was out of range. Ooh. Ooh, I normally don't actually fight this guy. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> that was close. That's what I was trying to do. Usually I just hit him with a couple spells and call it a day. I didn't realize he could heal himself. That was big yikes. That was big yikes. Oh well. We didn't die. I swear to god, if I die, I want to be 
very, very sad and upset with myself. I used to be able to blow through this first level with ease. Ease, I say. I'll let the fire go out before I go down there, because I learned last time. Um, fire lingers longer than you expect. It'll set your fire. Every time. I forget that they flail every time. Yes, I'm a knobhead. Come out here, we'll cut these two chains down because we'll get some nice, lovely uh, items from it. I knew what word I was searching for. Word items, Ark. these guys out. There should be three. I want to go backwards, please. I did not press forwards to dodge. Hopefully they're all dead. Thankfully. And look at that. We just got our first shortcut. Yay! Woohoo! And here is the ring that will aid us greatly. The Kling ring brings our dead HP from half to three quarters. Lovely. Everything we could need and or want. Now, go back up. I'm trying to click the left stick to run. In many other games lately. Oh boy. Let's go clear out the rest of the level. I really enjoy this. It's it's very good opening level. It's probably longer than it needs to be, but I'm alright with that. It kind of teaches you a lot of the random stuff you can get into. Like drop down here and get yourself I guess need get yourself a crossbow. If you so wanted to use one. And sneak up behind this asshole who was throwing bombs behind us. Alright. But yes, uh, this game is very linear. Uh, you, you will rarely, if ever, lose your way, uh, save for maybe one level, Valley of Defilement, which well, we'll get there. Uh, it's way later, we'll get there. It's not a bad level, it's just it's Blight Town. It's, it's first Blight Town, that's all you need. But it's all linear, like, yes, there's some side paths, and this level in particular has a lot of them. Like, you're supposed to run that guy, and that guy will be a dick. And normally, you just run up in there. And... You won't know that there's all these fire bombs, the fire barrels, that will make you a sad, sad boy. Or girl. Uh, because you'll get blown up. But drop down here. You really don't jump over um, railings like that a lot. It's really this first level. That was a bold leap. Thank you. Indeed. This guy's a bro. Well, now that you are here, pray thee, fend off these dreglings. You got it, dude. Um, I am... Firebomb. I'm going... Get two for one. Hell yeah, bro. Right. One more? Probably not the best use of firebombs, but I'm guessing I'll get more. My thanks. 
I am Ostrava of Bolton. Oh, sorry. I look past Accept that. this as a token of my gratitude. Brass telescope. Hell yeah. A pine resin. Sorry. Yeah, keep us. Pine resin. Holy hell. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Yeah. Yep. Really? Gonna do that first? I didn't realize I had <laughs> my catalyst out. <laughs> Alright, this is what we're gonna do. Alright, we got the scimitar. The scimitar is a better weapon for us right now. Does more damage. 80 compared to 76, I think it was. And how about Astrava? It's Astrava's a bro. You can hit Astrava. You can actually kill Astrava, like every other Souls game. There's a lot of... Or you, you can kill any and every enemy. Um, which can be a problem. He, he won't automatically aggro. I dodge? I think I didn't dodge because I was falling down this little bitty ledge here. Which, great, great timing for me. Try, nope, that didn't work. I have, nope, I don't know. All right, we gotta go save Estrella because he's a very. If he dies, we lose out on on a uh, on his quest. And I don't want to move out on his quest. Move out, lose out. Problem with this area is yes, I can accidentally hit him, and I'm gonna try very hard not to. Go. Woo. I swear, in the original game, one of these guys, since these are all fire barrels, one of these guys in the original used to throw a fire bomb. And it would blow everybody up. But I'm kind of glad that. But Astrava's a bro. We like Astrava. He's kind of a putz. Nothing wrong with being a putz, but he. he He's a, he's a good putz. He's a bro putz. I don't know how to combine bro and putz, so I'm not going to. It'll probably sound something terrible. I'll probably say something by accident. I cannot. It's backstabs. Hey, you hit him, Astrava. Uh, Astrava? Astrava? Oh, he's just gonna die. <laughs> what? Why? Why? All right. I take my leave. There is something I must do. Oh, you can see his eyeballs. Before his uh, helmet, I think obscured like everything of his face. That's good. Kinda... Oh. That's off. Ooh, ran out of stamina. Oh, terrible, stupid building. Hi, champ. How are you? Jeez. All right, seven is my fault. I I hate the bouncing my sword off of you. Fucking what me? How dare? How dare? Take one of these. Through all improve. Regain some of my MP. Oh, it's so much better to have the scimitar. It's a little faster than than the short sword we started with. I think I will show off later. Um, getting the enchanted falchion, which is just a, a fancier scimitar. 
the enchanted falchion early. It's not like a super amazing like, oh look at this I'm so great kind of Ow. Dick. Oh! Holy hell! Ooh, that was close. It's getting, it's getting cocky. It's getting cocky. That's the problem with not this game. It's just, just, just it's the way it is. Sometimes you get cocky, and no matter how many times you play the game or how good you are, souls will always bite you in the butt. If you get cocky. I know. I know that I'm rusty. I know this. And yet, I'm still getting cocky. Yes, we are backtracking. Ooh! Ow. Trey blows like an idiot. That was interesting. Spun him around. Uh, going too far for the backstab. Yeah, if you were to have come the normal way, they wouldn't sneak up behind you. Like, you'd walk forward and then they might actually drop behind you and get past them. Either way. It might be a trap. It might not be a trap. Who's to say? I'm not the one to say. Yeah, this is a little bit of... Uh, backtracking. Try to sneak up on this bro. Backstab on him. We don't like spear guys. Guess they have a halberd. He was stuck. There we go. That's a good backstab. Hell yeah, bro. And there's that. But yeah, that this is where the the firebomb guy was, and that's right over there is where we dropped off the ledge to go talk to Strava. So it's just a little backtracking. I'm just again, ooh, we got the halberd. Go this way. Break through these. Hey, good day to you. There's this creepy, creepy merchant. Mostly stolen, but I like his chest, chest back, the dragling that. Um, so he sells things. Moon grasses. Fire bombs. Lotus. Stops you from bleeding. And some weapon. Long sword. Go full unga bunga. Short spear. Crossbow. Wood. Nothing particularly amazing. But if you want to collect everything. Oh, hey. There's a man. I don't know if you can buy some of the, like, the, the weapons and armors from somewhere else but there it is my pick hey, maybe you want to be an unga bunga and didn't start with an unga bunga club that's where you can pick one up I don't think there's anything down there sorry mumbling to myself and here's a fog door guess what's on the other side not a boss this game has a lot more fog board fog boards fog doors that don't lead to bosses. This is another trap. So if we were to walk down this path, there's a bunch of enemies. You can kind of see one right there. Um, one of them will shoot an arrow and hit this, and all these boulders will come down and make you feel sad about yourself. So if you just whack it, all the boulders go, and kill all the enemies in your path. Now you don't die, and you get a bunch of souls. Easy peasy without having to Fight these what? One, two, three, four, five, six enemies, and you can see a blue dragon over. Yeah. Some scenery. Nice scenery. Over here, but what do you go around this corner? Get another pair of douches. I don't like the spear guys. Uh, I don't know why. I just don't. Ah, 
Oh, see? That right there. They get their shield up really quickly. I'm just never expecting the shield to go up quickly enough. So they always tag me. Go down this way. I don't think there's signs here. I never remember. But there's the blue dragon and the red dragon. And if you can kind of focus underneath them, you see little shinies. Those are pickups. Um, if you go over there, the blue dragon, as you can see, swings its tail and it will hit and kill you. The red dragon, however, will breathe fire, which will hit and kill you. But it's possible to run over there and grab some, if not all of it. But if we wait until later, we are capable of killing the dragons later. If we wait until later, kill the dragons, come back here, easy peasy, they won't be there. They might not, you might not even have to kill them. You might have to just go through this level, this world, a bit more, and they'll just disappear and not come back. I'm not sure about that. I usually kill them and then come back. So that's probably what we'll do. I don't know if I'm going to kill them, to be honest. It's, it's a very... Um, the way I've always done them, it's a very um, tedious, long sort of way of doing it. And if you listen closely, here, the dragon will come. And if you linger long enough, All right, champ. The dragon will come and breathe fire on the entire... All right, dragon, calm down. Well, breathe fire on this entire bridge. So if you mistime it, you will easily, easily die. So what I usually do is I come over here and I bait the dragon to come and breathe its fire. and kill all of the enemies. Because yeah, it just makes life, just makes life easy. What can I say? I like an easy life, all right? Look at that beautiful, beautiful fire-breathing dragon. Are you gonna do it a third time? You are going to indeed fuck off. All right. So this is what I normally do. I think once it flies away, you have an opportunity of running across the bridge without too much uh, worry. But I like to come over here and bait the dragon back here because it takes it longer to run, to fly from here and burn up the bridge than it does if you didn't. I think. I think. I like to be safe. All right. I just and no, I don't believe you can kill the dragons um, in that location. I think you can damage them and they'll fly off. I usually don't kill these guys. I think that place is safe enough because those guys don't die. I just, uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tempt it. I'm not going to attempt to pick up those uh, items either. Pepsi! That is where our boss is. Like I usually have a pet peeve, and this is an, one of the itching points. I usually have a pet peeve about uh, dragons. What what constitutes dragon? And it is wrong to call those the blue and red dragon that I've been calling dragons since the third time. It's wrong to call them dragons. Yes, I'm being pompous. Let me have this, alright? Technically, a dragon has four legs, wings, and can breathe fire. 
a drake only has two legs and two wings and can sometimes breathe fire. So technically, the blue and red dragons that I keep calling dragons are t actually drakes. Why, please? But I think they're called dragons in the game. I, I normally I I'm pompous enough to call them drakes. This. Bam. But if you ever want to be uh, pompous in your nerdum, go ahead. All dragons and drakes, their proper names, a proper classification. Not my biggest pet peeve in the world. I just talk to girl. She's always <laughs> at any time it comes up. I hate that. Absolutely, I do. Here's. Ow. She hears the ranting and ravings of a nerdy madman. That guy jumped to his death. Did he jump to safety? He did jump to safety. Damn. Problem. Yeah. Ooh, that was lucky. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to pick that up. This is a phalanx. Sorry, I, I was I was so focused on not dying because of a weird setup. That, that's a phalanx. It has the a great shield on the front of its blobby face and will absorb all damage. Uh, so you have to sneak to the side or preferably the back of it. If you sneak to the side, you can hit it. Um, but sometimes your sword will bounce off of the shield. So uh, you gotta get up behind it. Or it's super weak to fireball. Like this, I'm surprised the sword didn't bounce off. Surprise, the sword didn't bounce off. But not a terrible enemy uh, if you know that you need to get the home. But can be a pain until you realize that. Alright, so we are going to heal up. Because, as you may be aware already, this is indeed the boss gate. We're right at the beginning of the level. If you so chose, you can take the Nexus portal, the bonfire, the lamp uh, over there, and go back and level up to fight this boss. But it's really not necessary. It's a super easy boss if you know the trick to it. And I do indeed know the trick to it. So you could stand here, angle up, and throw a bunch of fire bombs because it's super weak to fire. Um, I could also use my magic, my flame toss that I have here, and just flame toss it to death. And or I could use I have pine resin, which has a bunch of or which adds fire to my weapon. But we're just gonna throw a bunch of fire bombs at it. As you can tell, it's a phalanx. All those little phalanx will guard it from danger. I do not have enough. Well, I am going to apply Pine Resin, which was called Turpentine, back in the original. And that is Phalanx. Uh, if you were to attack that straight on, just like the little phalanxes, um, you, your sword would just bounce off them. Uh, I think fire will get past the shield. Uh, so you can do that, but a, a super easy boss if you know or are fully aware about the a fire weakness it has. It's not a glitch, it's not an exploit, it's, it's weak to fire. Because I don't think the phalanx can actually damage you. Now we got this cool fire sword. But hey, that is the first world. 
gates of Boletaria. That's the first boss, the Phalanx. And that is where we're going to end. So I hope you've enjoyed so far this weird jaunt baby playthrough of Demon Souls 2020 remake. Um, go ahead, like, comment, like, like, comment, and subscribe. I am the best YouTuber ever. And I'll see you in the next one for the next level. I don't know if we're going to do Boletaria or move on to uh, the tunnels. But see, it'll be a surprise. You'll know when you click on the video. The thumbnail and title will tell you. Anyways, get out of here. Love you all. Ta-ta. Farewell. And bye.